Hey, hi everyone. So today we'll see how to set default value in a slicer. So why we are doing this is because every month when data gets refreshed, we have to come to Power BI Desktop. We have to update the slicer. Then we have to publish it to Power BI Service, which will be a hectic task. So to overcome this issue, I have come up with the certain steps. So we'll start the same. So now the data is still April 2023. So now I'll push the data for May. And so for me, I'm pushing data as profits of 20,000. So yeah, so we'll see here. So data has come. So uh, if I select me, it will show 20,000 profits. But every time we have to keep on selecting the month slicer. So to overcome this thing, we have to add two columns. First, we'll go to data view and we'll add one column. We'll name it as yy yy mm equals to i'll just uh, concatenate here here we have to pass date pass profits of date and concatenate with month number so we'll have yy yy mm and Convert these to whole number data type. Now we'll add another column to derive which is the latest month. So that we'll add one more new column. We'll name it as latest month. To use if statement of in the if statement first we have to pass the condition the condition will be if y y y m m equals to max of y y y m m then and that will be the latest month so in second the latest month if it's not the latest month then simply we'll pass the month only So here we can see May is the latest month as of now. So uh, also we can add one more measure to derive, I mean to know which is the latest month. So for that go here, add new measure. You can name it as latest month value, something like this. We'll use lookup value. So in the lookup value, we have to pass three parameters. So first one is result column, from which we have to take the result. So that will be by by uh, month actually month. So pass the month as the first column, and we are we are searching it from latest month column. And that will be the second column. And what we are searching? We are searching for latest month. So pass that string. So we'll see if uh, the measure is working properly or not by pulling it here. Latest month. So you can see the latest month value is May. Okay. So here instead of using month, we'll use the newly created latest month. And and this is ordered in lexicographically so we'll sort this out so so for this we have to go here click on latest month use sort by column sort by month number yeah. so if you will see now it's properly jan feb march april and this will be may so now I will just select this thing. So may okay. Uh, we'll add one dynamic title as well. For that, we'll create one measure. We'll create one measure. Profit title. We'll say profit 
This will be dynamic title. Let's say profits. Pass the lookup measure which we created. Latest month value. To use this, just go to general title, click on this thing, then use the latest, I mean, the latest major which created profit title. Click on OK. Profits on May. Just uh, click to some kind of change so you can see profits as well so now we'll see if this works or not by pushing June data we'll go to SSMS and just push for June as a thousand and refresh the data See now, now we didn't even test the slicer, it automatically changed to profits on June. So, this is how automatically we can derive. Thanks for watching.